Oh, fucking hell! Oh, oh, run! Hi guys, and welcome back to another goddamn gaming episode with me, Gamer Lad. And today we're going to be continuing with Aria. Now we're up to chapter one, and we started outside the hospital playing as Marissa, Aria's best friend, who's gone to search for her. We've already completed the prologue where you play as Aria in the hospital and kind of see what's happened to her she's been attacked by some sort of monster thing so continue here we go i don't know if i'll have to watch cutscene again spider on me then they're the little bastard right guys so here we go we're starting outside the hospital in the street and it's nice and dark there's lightning eerie music just what we need for that perfect horror setting so can we still sprint yeah we can still sprint but we can't do anything else why can't I inspect it she said rotate nothing on it Napawan hospital temporarily closed for reconstruction if you want to contact us please call Triple six, triple six, triple six. The sign of the devil. How nice. Right. This place has changed a lot. <sighs> that case did some real damage to this place. That place has changed a lot. She has definitely got a British accent. She's definitely a British Asian woman. I can tell because of the way that she speaks. Is he dead? Find a way into the hospital. Yeah, because we would definitely want to go in there, don't we? Is he dead? I don't know, but I can't get in anyway. It's blocked off. Right, okay, so. Oh, God. So it creeps in, in my room then, it? it Scared me to death, right? I'm not going that way, so I'm guessing we're supposed to go up here and jump over the fencing. Wow, she walks. Look at this strafing. Look at that. It's so. Look at that. That is so slow. Strafing. Leaves don't look as well. Feels so good. <laughs> that tends to be a common theme with Thai and Japanese Jesus that tends to be a common theme with uh, Asian games the women have all got big boobs and it's there for show press F I was going to say it's a bit dark ah oh, look at that there's lag on the flashlights if I spin round really quick you've got to wait for the flashlight to catch up I'm guessing that's either one for a bit more realism I can hear a dog somewhere. Or two, because this is a. What's the deal with this shrine? It's designed for virtual reality. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Little shithead. Oh! What if I just. It's just jumped on me. It scared me to death, that. Now, I'm expecting a lot of jump scares. Considering when I played part one. What happened then? <laughs> I didn't even move the mouse. Considering part one was just absolutely rinsed with them. The frig's that? Yeah, I've got a crouch. Cockroaches everywhere. I mean, I'm not jumping at the thunder now because I'm expecting that, to be honest. Um, it's been happening all the way through the level, so it's not worrying me too much. <laughs> that one did, though. I just don't... Just, I thought I saw someone and it was just, just a shadow. It's alright. So it's some it's There's someone there. 
Oh, it's a girl. It looks like that girl out of episode one. Joe, the one that was walking towards me in the hospital, like... Uh, Who is that? Fucking hell, it was... Aria? Is that you? Aria, wait! Aria, wait! Where are you Where going? Where are you going? Come back, because I need to talk to you, love. Right, so, let's do the sensible thing and follow her into the darkness, I suppose. Game saved. Right, flashlight on. Oh god, look at this, we're in a pitch black hospital. For God's sake. Right. When we was outside, I was alright. It was fine. As soon as we come in, why do I... Oh, shut up, you? shouting, you dickhead. As soon as we come in the hospital, that's it. Shouting and banging noises and stuff. I'm going to go back outside in a minute. Fucking knobhead. Oh, God. I hate this. Get to the electrical room. Power is needed in order to open this door. Oh, how convenient that there's a locked door. That's right. <sighs> You've been acting very strange during high school, especially in our last couple of years. You had serious problems with your mood swings and it really pushed people away. Oh, I was your only friend at the time. She's definitely British. Right, hang on, I came... Oh, God, it's so dark. Did I try that door? Right, that's locked. It's so dark. It's locked. Locked. Right, if something comes out at me now and I've got to run, I haven't got a clue where I'm going to go. Locked. I am actually a bit... I'm not as scared as I was doing part one because I'm expecting jump scares, but I'm still a bit nervous. What was that? The door just closed on me. Master key. Oh, awesome. Did the door close on me or something? Find the fuses to restore the power. I'm sure something lit up then. But, oh god, it's pit. Look how slow she walks. It's painful. Look at this. Saying that, I'd be just curled up in a corner if it were me. Let's run. The thing is, though, it's trying to. Alright, let me stop in case I get a jump scare while I'm talking. It's as if it walks so slow because it's trying to force you to sprint, knowing that when you do sprint, it's a lot more intense and a lot scarier. Oh, I thought my flashlight went out then. Right. Nothing in here, is there? Wow, all the hairs have just gone up on my arms anyway. I'm surprised that when I picked this newspaper up, it didn't go... Dum! A newspaper article saying Dr. Phil Watson, General Director of the Department of Health Service Support, released a statement that Napoan Hospital has had to close down temporarily. The reason was the increase of reports saying that sections of the hospital were closed. Electricity had been turned off in a few rooms. The hospital was understaffed and the emergency room was not reaching required health standards. This all combined with the numerous complaints about hygiene problems has led to the decision to close the hospital. Right, okay. So the hospital isn't temporarily shut. It's permanently shut. Is that all that's in here, that? Really? What the hell was that? Right, there's nothing else in here. Nothing in there, I've already had a look. Right, it's so dark. Right, that was the electric room, wasn't it, in there, so that's the power board. Right, is it just me or is it getting darker? I think it's just me, in it. Right, toilet. Fucking hell. Few objects. 
an old fuse it looks wearing out but it should still work yeah because he's always just a, a wheelchair in a toilet with a conveniently placed fuse on it now what's that over there well hang on there's a fuse there Oh, I've been this way, haven't I? Right. Let's, uh, let's just forget that for now. Let's just get this power sorted. Oh, go away, for God's sake. Oh, God, I hate this. Fucking hate this. I was reading about Resident Evil 7 today, and I really, really want to do that in VR. But I'll just be a nervous wreck, man. Right, so it was in here, wasn't it? The electrical box. Something going to be around here, isn't there? No. Right, okay. Insert fuse, insert fuse, power on. Ready? It's not worked. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, it's because I hadn't put it all the fucking way up, is it? Fucking hell. Tell you what, it knows how to create an atmosphere, this game. Right, now the power's on, something's going to happen. Because last time I was in a hospital with a power on, the lights went boom, 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 and there was a girl chasing me. So I'm presuming that that's probably going to happen again. Right, so it was back through here, and then the door to the... That door is now openable. But, let's just check out this... Oh, I can open this one now. Oh, so I couldn't have got in here a minute ago if I'd have wanted to. So let's have a look at what's that. It's got a code on it, five, seven, three, oh no, what am I on about? It's Thai. Oh, uh, numbers are still the same in Thai, aren't they? Dickhead. <laughs> Everything seemed normal during today's patrol. However, I saw Jit near the old building again. I think he's hiding somewhere there. Something there, sorry. I am sure he has holding. He was holding something, but I don't know what. Rama. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm just gonna go for it. Fuck it. Oh wow, it's so dark. Right, okay, so game saved and I've still got my flashlight. So now we're in. Oh, Jesus, I thought something was on the ceiling then. Bloody fan. <sighs> right, so we've been recording for what, 15, 14 minutes? Right, okay, let's. Uh, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. I'll do. Oh, shit, shit, Ed. Explore this floor. Right, okay. Like I said, we'll carry on and see what else. This has got to offer because technically we're still on chapter one and I did say that we would do one episode as one chapter. Right, I can't go that way. Right, I'll go this way. There's nothing that I can interact with so let's try this door. What was that? I don't want to turn around. Nothing's happened. I was expecting it to be like those chairs all facing me or something like that. That happened in Lock Phase. If you've not seen me Lock Phase playthrough, I've got that on my channel. You can have a look. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, you fucking shithead. <sighs> I hate this. Right, hang on. That light's just come on. On its own. Oh, you just know I'm going to get jump scared, don't you? Locked. <sighs> Can't cope. Right. Blurriest paper in the world. Obviously, if you was Thai, you wouldn't need to check the description because what I've noticed is that the rest of the paper's blurred, but then the main part that you need to look at, like that blue section it's so awkward to rotate this and get it how <laughs> you want it but that is uh, in the middle you see how it's dead clear obviously if you was tired you could read that 
So, a newspaper article saying, After Napa One Hospital was forced to close down for the unforeseeable future, new problems have arisen. All the patients were moved to the neighbouring hospitals, however, one seems to be missing. A woman has come forward stating that her husband, who had been hospitalised in Napa One Hospital for a while, could not be found on any of the transferred patients lists. So, if anybody has got information, please call the police. So, there's a bloke missing as well as Aria. Right. Is this some... I can't fucking open the door. I can't open it. Oh, I have to pull it open. Oh! Oh, God! There's somebody... It's obviously that girl from before, but she's at the end of the corridor. Oh, why have I got a feeling, right? That these lights are just going to go do 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 and she's going to start running towards me and I'm going to have to leg it back. If she does, I'm just going to stand still, shut my eyes and get fucking killed. I'm not even looking down any of them places. Oh, Aria, stop why do you shouting keep running her. Away? It's obviously not a human being. That's why she keeps running away. She's running away because she's not really there. I'm not going down that one yet. That can wait. Locked. Oh, I've got to. Obviously, I've got to go that way. And she's just mysteriously gone. Oh, no. I have this hatred oh, inside me. Voice memo. It, it's growing stronger each day. She's British as well. To affect my daily life. People are starting to look at me on the street. I'm so lonely. Would you like to trade places with me? Aria. So that is a direct from Aria herself. So she's uh, starting to feel... Oh, glitch through the door then. Oh, see through it. So I've got to go oh, back down the corridor, for God's sake. But... um. So it seems that Arya can sense that there's something dark lurking. Can I get through this door now? Nope. Oh, it's getting quiet. I don't like it. That light's just... That door's just opened. Oh, like I said, I hate games where you got to open the doors yourself because it's the fact that you can open them so slow and you can also slam them like that. It just terrifies me. It adds that little bit of uh, eeriness to the game. Game saved. Oh, God. The last time it saved the game in the middle of a corridor like this, I got chased and I shit myself. Oh god, these candles everywhere. Right, this is going to be a scary moment, guys. I just know it. Oh, I can hear someone laughing. Right. I'm going to get jump scared out of Oh! oh. <laughs> I don't like this game, I really don't. I do, it's a good game, bloody good game, but a newspaper article saying recently married woman admits to killing her previous boyfriend for not marrying her. So obviously the guy that's married her now knew about that and he was like, I tell you what, I'll just marry your love because I don't want to be dead. <sighs> oh God. Why is he a bloke? Is this the... Is, I wonder if this is the bloke that went missing. We read that letter before, didn't we? And it said that a bloke had gone missing. I have to kill them all before I can start the ritual. What? Oh my god, there's somebody in there. Oh, look at him. How's he not? How can he not see me? I'm shining a big bloody torch in his head. Right, I can't go that way, so I'm guessing I've got to go this way. Oh, 
I don't like it. I've just got a feeling something bad's going to happen. Oh, fucking hell! Oh, oh, run! Go faster than that, you stupid bitch! I'm not even turning round. I'm not turning round. I'm not turning. Should I turn round? Ah, he's right there. Ah! Where do I go? Oh, he's still coming. Oh god, all the airs are up on my arms. Get in the toilet. Get in the toilet. Climb. Holdy. Holdy. I am. I am. Can he come in? I'm not turning. I can't turn round now. Oh my god! That was scary of them when I got chased in the first episode, that. Have I still got my torch on? Yeah, it's just shining at the floor. So, oh god, I've got creaking metal. I can't see a thing. What was that? Fucking hell was that? <laughs> so let's do the sensible thing and follow where the thing went, shall we? Oh, I can crawl faster. Right, dead end. Which way do we go? I can't see a thing. Not that way then, is it? Let's turn right. Must be. I've just been this way, have I? Oh no. Oh, do, what do I do? Do I drop down or what? Right, come on. Right. I oh, can't. Right, it's sat on the wall. Right, an elevator. Oh, God. Last time I pressed one of these buttons, it was like... Oh. Is she going to come? Nope. Ah, fuck it! Fuck just happened. <laughs> Am I dead? Chapter 2, Rama. Oh, that was that guy in the note, wasn't it? Oh, it's that guy in the security booth. I was still tense. I certainly risked that now, tensing so much. Why has he got a white stain over a woman's face on a photograph? Alright, so we're on chapter two now. We've done it. Woohoo! And we're back in the hospital. I'm going to leave it there anyway. That shit me up enough for one night. Yeah, we're back in the hospital and we're playing as Rama. So, we're not the girl anymore. So, whether we'll get a weapon this time because being a bloke, I don't know. Not to sound sexist. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. I'm really enjoying playing this. As much as it's scaring the living shit out of me, I'm really, really enjoying playing it. I hope you, you're enjoying watching it, to be honest. So, if you are, don't forget to smash that like button. And I'll see you in the next episode. I've been Gamer Lad. Bye for now. Yeah.